I mean a lot of rain. You've already had an inch and a half in Springfield today. You may pick up another inch, a lot of lightning, and we continue to watch those storms. Uh, new, we have a viewer, I understand, from New Carlisle on the phone. Uh, sir, are you with us? Ma'am? Hello? Hello, are you there? Yeah. I'm is, here. Is this, your name is Rick from New Carlisle, is that yeah. right? Okay, Rick, what are you seeing right now? Right now we're just getting a bunch of rain, but just a few minutes ago, I mean, it was coming down really hard, almost like a solid sheet of water just coming at the houses. And it was, I mean, it was put, it, you could feel against the house, what, you know, the way it was hitting the house. But we're getting hell coming down on it. I mean, it was just nasty rain, heavy duty stuff. And how much wind did you have up there? I said it shook my house. Okay, okay, so... so the house. Got some wind and rain, so so this is uh, you know clearly a storm that is is going to be producing uh, several types of weather for your rain. Have you had a lot of lightning there, Rick? You would still got it. Okay, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. We're seeing a lot of lightning. Yeah. Well, just uh, just uh, stay safe there and and try to ride this one out. Uh, hopefully the winds won't be problematic for you. And if you do see anything uh, else uh, in terms of any hail or wind damage or anything, certainly let us know. And uh, everybody in New Carlisle certainly want you to stay safe, also down into the, the Medway area as well. Thanks a lot, Rick. We appreciate that report. Uh, so, again, those of you in, in Clark County, Springfield area, uh, you're going to be getting into some of the same things that Rick was just talking about. And uh, look at these storms. Rich, you've been watching these storms uh, across the north not looking as nasty as they were earlier. And the one in southwest logan county sure looks to me like the lightning is now starting to decrease so maybe yeah. that's starting to weaken uh the two compared to each other uh the one and two logan county does look like as you mentioned uh, losing a little steam and sometimes we can uh we can uh follow that by tracking how many lightning strikes now between the two storms 110 strikes and uh this lightning tracker actually just follows what is actually on the screen so we've got about 84 lightning strikes for this first storm uh this tornado warning or it would be the second round for you in sydney but the original storm we pan this over only about 24 lightning strikes so you get the idea of the evolution of these storms not to say the one in logan county is done producing that threat of a tornado that uh, warning is still in effect until 8 30 and it includes the DeGraff area and i do want to zoom in south of DeGraff into quincy because uh, if there is a rotation left with this storm, if the threat of the tornado is still with this storm, it is going to be right around the Quincy area. And these are mainly rural areas in far southwestern Logan County, but if you live in the Graff, Quincy, it's on top of us, even up to Gretna and Logansville, uh, you need to take shelter immediately. And this could even be said right down toward the Champaign County line as this storm continues to push off to the east. Uh, you folks in West Liberty, closer uh, off to the east and south, I think the storm's going to just miss you to the north. So you're probably going to get a good view of the clouds as they pass by, but it looks like the heavy weather will not be uh, affecting your area, at least at this time. Let's talk about this storm back here off to the west, the stronger of the two storms. And Jamie, we were mentioning before, uh, going through round two in the Sydney area, as uh, we see this continuing to move off to a very slow pace. I think these storms are only moving like 15 to yeah, 20 miles per hour. Yeah, that's what we were uh, getting indications of earlier. So. Uh, I don't know how much rain fell in Sydney from the first one, but this one's going to drop quite a bit of rain as well. So, uh, you know, as these cells come through, we've shown you on some of the weather cams how heavy the rain has been. Uh, if you do have to venture out after the storm passes, keep in mind you may encounter some high water on roadways. That is possible. Uh, and there may be some localized flooding. Haven't gotten any reports of any flooding, uh, but uh, again, some street flooding uh, is a definite possibility with these as they do move through the area. And uh, we're also about to get another batch of heavy rain here in the Dayton area as well. So uh, we got a break in Dayton. More heavy rain is moving in right now, but uh, this storm doesn't look as strong as the first one. And keep in mind that every area the storm rolls through and you get some rain, it's going to cool you down a little bit. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. And if another storm moves through, that could mean that that second storm may not be quite as